It was from right over there. I jumped out at you from behind the tree, and Grandpa got all excited, and he shook his fist at me, and he said, Boy, you be damned to hell! <laughs> Remember that? Right over there. Well, you used to really be scared here. Johnny! Well, you're still afraid. Stop it now, I mean it. They're coming to get you, Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> It's the mailman. Stop it! You're acting like a child. Thank you. They're coming for you. Look, where did this letter come from? Transylvania? You hear me? Trenton, New Jersey. Uh huh. Well, let's see what we got here. Doctor Drake. The demon is coming soon. Be ready. Signed, Dr. Evil Trope. That can only mean one thing. The mummified demon I ordered will be coming soon. But I don't have a display for it. What to do? I've got it. Greetings, my beautiful circus monkeys. What you see before you is my lovely display of voodoo paraphernalia right out of my sideshow. Now, with my mummified demon coming in for next year's schedule, I need to build a new one of these. So I'm going to show you how you can take one of these wooden crates available at many of your local stores and build this charming rustic display box that has a certain creep factor to it. What you're going to need for this project one of these wooden crates available at Lowe's or any number of craft and hobby stores in your area. You can also buy them at Walmart, but we don't shop at Walmart because they represent the corporate plutocracy that rules our nation. You're also going to need a sheet of plexiglass cut to fit perfectly over the front of the box you're going to need spray paint of your choice. You're going to need a drill. And you're going to need at least four one-inch drywall screws and a drill bit that is slightly smaller than the diameter of said screws. You're also going to need a bit to drive the screws in when you're done. So let's get started. The first step is you take your wooden crate and you want to spray paint it. Now, you can sand it if you want a more uh, finished, perfect look, but if you want it to look old and rustic, then just leave it as it is with all of its uh, unrefined edges because beauty lies in imperfection. Now, do you think it's a good idea to spray paint in the house? No, I mean... Right? Probably not a good idea. Um... I've got a better idea. Where did I put my... Ah, yes, my staff. You can spray paint, or you can just do this. That makes it a lot easier. And there's less fumes. I told you to take the wizard stop! The next step is to take your pre-cut piece of acrylic, line it up, Perfectly with the edges, close as you can get. I like leaving this layer of film on. And then take your drill. You want to come in about an inch from the edge. Try to center it up with this strip of wood. Start out slow. Pick up speed. Repeat on this side, and at the bottom, then you want to clean up all of this sawdust here. Set your acrylic aside. Now you can do this as is and play it straight. You can run the acrylic on top of the crate 
put your little tchotchkes in there, call it done. But I'm going to do something else. That little added extra to make it extra. I have an LED light bar that I purchased from the local Dollar Tree for $5. looks like this. There's an LED light strip on the inside and a diffuser. Do you see this? The little base? You don't need that. What we need to do is figure out where it's going to sit inside the box. If you want the cord facing to the rear, figure out where we're going to mount this and get it as even as possible. Looks about good right there. I like to eyeball everything. Now, what we want to do is carefully remove the diffuser from the light strip. Just pull the wall out a little bit. Remove this. And you see what you have to work with here. You have about three quarters of an inch of space on either side of the strip. If you damage this strip, it's not going to light up. So what we want to do is figure out where we're going to drill the holes to get the screws to go through the wood and come through right here and right here. Once it's carefully measured and held into place with professional looking clamps, you want to go ahead and drill it. Let's see the plastic, get it lined up. I moved things around a bit so that you could see better and I could work better. It was very difficult to drill through that and hold it in a way that you could see it, so you get the idea though. Once you have your holes drilled, both in your light bar and in the, uh, in the box, you want to run this cord through the slats in the back. I know this is a very professional Mickey Mouse operation right here. I am not a DIY expert. Put your screw in the hole, line it up. Screw it into place and repeat on the other side. Then, you replace the uh, diffuser panel. And it's in place. Now, Take our acrylic panel and make sure that it's placed the right way. This one's not. There we go. Once it's lined up and in place, remove the protective film. Start your screws. You don't want to go in uh, like overly hard torque it down because you'll uh, snap the plexiglass. It doesn't have to be too snug. Now I know I don't have anything in this case just yet. I'm just giving you the rundown on how to build it. The reveal is at the end. And as simple as that, a nice little display box. 
simply plug this in to a USB port and light it up. Now it's a couple of weeks until my demon comes in, so in the meantime, I put in this random Fiji mermaid I had laying around the house. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? Now you can add whatever you want. You can add flowers and grass to this. You can add rocks and sand to it. You can even add a backdrop if you'd like to. Make a nice little diorama. How does it look with the light? Best of all, they come with these remote controls. You can create different effects on your display by lighting. Pretty cool, huh?